Hi, Ryan Casey from Home Quarters and today's episode of Blockbuster, we are featuring Canning Cube. Here is the newest new kit in the block for integrated development that is on top of Fort Canning. If you are looking at Singapore River View, you are looking at Fort Canning Garden View, we are looking at MBS View. I think Canning Hill peers have it all for us today. So without further ado, let's check it out. So before we head into the show, Gary Proper, if you are on YouTube, do leave us a like and subscribe. And of course, go over to our website, homequarters.com.sg for more editorial, more real estate content such as this. Of course, we also have Facebook and also Instagram at homequarters.sg and show us some love here. So welcome to Canning Hill Pierce. So where exactly is Canning Hill Pierce? This is standing on the side of the former Liang Court, just right beside Clark Key itself. The address itself is also 1 and 5 Clark Key. We have a standing on the side area of close to about 140,000 square feet. We have two blocks of residential and two blocks of commercial we're going to take a look later on. We have 696 units in total, ranging from one bedroom all the way to five bedroom. Of course, we also have super penthouse, which is already been sold here. Here we are, District 6, a City Hall Clark Key area. I think the draw here is that we are really by the iconic Singapore River and not many development can boast that they have the Singapore River view, they have the Fort Canning Hill view and also right next to it is the ultra modern, ultra hip Clark Key area. We are standing on a 99 years this whole side and because of the ultra mega project that it is today, expected vacant possession is around the 2027 20, year. So let's talk about the side area in itself. We have the first block. This is one Clark Key, block one, for the eight level in total. This is the one facing the Singapore River. On the ground floor itself and also the second floor is managed by the Capital Land, one of the developers here at Canning Hill Piers. We can see that this bridge, which is an iconic bridge, if let's say you are around my age, you will remember that this is the bridge that a lot of people that is coming into Clark Key tends to drink on this bridge or this beautiful view of the Singapore River. You can see down the level one, level two is commercial. We got retail, F&B, and even on the basement, we have a supermarket chain here. So if you are living here in Canning Hill Piers, I think convenience is the central theme of Canning Hill. Here, of course, just right beside we have uh, what we call the Canning Hill Square, which is the entire ground floor and the second floor level. Right beside Block 1, we have Moxie Hotel, which is being managed by Merritt International, which is one of the biggest hotel chain in the world. We here also have a river taxi. So if you want to enjoy some sort of scenic view and you just want to be a tourist for the day, you can actually take the river taxi. Turning over our side to this area, you can see that Clark Key is over on this front. If you do know this is on standing on the side of the former Liang Court, just really right beside the Clark Key itself. This is where the residential car park is. Your garden house is here as well. Residents do enjoy basement tree and basement for parking spaces. And on this front, this is the second block of the residential tower. We call it Block 5. Block 5 is 24 level in total. We have, of course, on the top level of Block 5, a link, a bridge over to the other side at block one. Talking about communal facility, probably we'll take a little bit of time later on after we describe the four blocks that is situated here. Of course here we still do have the level one and level two retail, F&B etc. But we can see on this front is that level three is actually more for the Canning Hill Piers residents as a one of a common facility level down here. Coming over on this space, we can see that we are now entering the Fort Canning Hill area, very scenic park in Singapore and right in the middle or the city here, we still are able to enjoy all this view of the park, which is a rarity here. Right beside Block 5, we have Somerset Service Residence that is managed by Escort. Here also have a bus stop because we are in the center of the city at River Valley Road already. So transportation wise, if you don't want to drive or you don't want to, there's no need to take that uh, MRT. You can actually take a few stops down whether you are going into the city or just right outside the city itself. On this front, back around to Block 1 and also Somerset Service Residence. Right in front, we have the Fort 
Dining MRT station. It is fully covered all the way to the MRT station exit. But alternatively, if it's raining really, really heavily or it's really, really bright and sunny, it is integrated into the Fort Canning MRT right down into the basement just inside Canning Hill Pier. So really, there is no need to walk outside of the building to get into the MRT station. So right along Clark Key, this piece of land is currently is an empty plot of land which is slated to become a hotel. So you know that our Singapore government is transforming this entire place into a more tourist, more commercial front. So you get to enjoy all there is that come on with this infrastructure development by the other developer and also by Capital Land and CDL for Canning Hill Pierce. So that's it. We come one round around Canning Hill Pierce right back at Singapore River. Really, if you are looking for a development, brand new, iconic structure right on top of the MRT, right beside Singapore River and back facing your Fort Canning Hill in Chinese, Yo San, Yo Sui. I think right now, this is the only one here in Singapore. So now we are at level 24. It's called Canning Hill Club. I think one of the most remarkable place here is there is a link bridge between block one and also block five which is a two residential block here other than level three on the ground floor you get linkage here i do like that there is an infinity lounge pool and there is a kind of a viewing deck here towards the m BS area is one of the great but iconic building here in Singapore. Of course, if you look towards the other side, we have the Fort Canning Hill Park kind of view as well. Over on the Percy deck on 20, level 24 on block one, it's more focused on function room, more focused on wellness room, more focused on a meditation room for all your own wellness kind of thing. And if you like say you want to host, you can host here at the function room as well. Over at block five, it's more focused on fitness enthusiasts. If let's say you are doing some sort of cardio gym, you have Sky Gym over here, you also also have a power gym that is separated. So I think this is one of the only development here that we have our weights room and our cardio room separated. So if you just want to relax, your kids just want to relax, we have a kids pool here and an adult infinity lab pool here that overlook the entire MBS view or if you want to overlook the greenery view at the back as well. Here we also have a Sky Gourmet if you prefer the park view as opposed to the MBS view. Alright, so we are at level 45 here. It's called Canning Hill Sky. I think one of the unique points here at the top of Canning Hill Piers is we have this Sky Club. So you don't need to go on various high-end level kind of club here. You have it right at your doorstep, literally at Canning Hill Piers, where you can invite some guests friends and family over in the evening to grab some drinks and enjoy the view of the evening scenic landscape of Singapore towards the MBS area. Over on the other side, if let's say you just want to chill, just want to chillax at the hammock area, Sky Hammock area is here. And also we have a Sky Arena. If you are into reading, just some quiet time by yourself, you could actually come over here on the level 45 and enjoy the view towards the real valley region, more residential, more calming, and you can actually enjoy your reading session right on top of Canning Hill Pierce. All right, so a modern home isn't complete without all your smart home ready feature, which is already been inbuilt here at Canning Hill Pierce. One thing interesting here is that we also have smart community on top of the smart devices inside your home. All right, talking about amenities here around Canning Hill Pierce. First up, we're talking about schools. We are about five minutes drive away from your Valley Primary School. We have Ocean Park Secondary School nearby, of course. Singapore Management University is nearby. School of the Arts, La Salle is nearby to Canning Hill Pierce as well. So if let's say you have school going children of these sort of ages, I think Canning Hill Pierce is something that you can look forward to. And next, we talk about transportation. Transportation just right downstairs, you have Fort Canning MRT, which is part of the the downtown line that can bring you down to Marina Bay Financial Centre if you work there on the downtown MRC station about two MRT stop away. Alternatively, at the end of the line, you can go over to Expo, which is really near to Changi Airport if you are traveling out of Singapore. Next, just a three minutes walk away, we have Clarky MRC station, which is part of the Northeast line. If you are going to a leisure, you don't want to drive into Sentosa, you can actually take the Northeast line down towards Harbourfront area to go into Sentosa itself. And of course, we have Vivo City there as well. So that's it to settle the MRT area. But if you are driving, we are in between three of the major expressway in Singapore we have namely the CTE, the AYE and also the MCE because we are in the centre of Singapore all these expressway leads you out of the area and of course when you are outside core central region and you are moving back home it is really easy considering that Canning Hill Pierce is just right in the centre of Singapore.
So when you're driving, going towards the city hall area, it just takes you about five minutes, same thing as in Raffles Place. And if you are going to shopping near to the Orchard Road area, a driving will only take you about seven minutes. And next we talk about recreation, just behind you, we have Fort Canning Park. Right down the road, we have Pearl Hill Park there as well. Next up, we'll talk about entertainment option here. Right downstairs, we have Canning Hill Square, where you can do some shopping, develop and manage by Capital Land. Just right opposite, again, another three minutes walk away, we have the Central, which is right on top of Kaki MRT Station. Uh, there you'll find a slew of other retail, f and and supermarket options there as well. All right, let's talk about the developer here. Canning Hill Piers is jointly developed by both CDL and also Capital Land, two powerhouse developer here in Singapore, of course. For CDL, they are more famous for developing residential, even managing hotels. And of course, on, on Capital Land, they are very, very famous for managing the high end, the very, very profitable and very popular mall in Singapore, such as like Ion Mall as well. So if let's say you're buying Canon New Pierce and with these two powerhouse joining forces, you, you buyer will definitely be buying something quality that you deserve. So if you're keen on Canon New Pierce or any other new launch development here in Singapore, do give us a call at 809 2889 My name is Casey from Home Quarters. Alright, so here we have a one bedroom plus study area and of course we're going to focus on the study area as more and more company turn to be work from home you have a study area dedicated for your work from home space or alternatively as a hobby area secondly we do have an interesting pull out table if you feel that your kitchen area is not enough for your food preparation need you can have this pull out table that has already been done up by the developer for you so no fuss just come in with your furniture and your luggage and you can actually stay in here already. Lastly, I think here we have the one bedroom. We still have an interesting dining area carved out here for basically to put in a two-seater or even a four-seater dining set. So I think these are the three unique selling points for the one bedroom plus study here and let's enjoy the home tour of this space. study but unfortunately this layout has been completely so out. 861 square feet in total we can take a look because room size are quite similar in other two bedroom here in Canning Hill Pier. So to avoid disappointments such as these do contact us early. Alright so coming in here I do like that this layout have a good width in the kitchen area so if let's say you are doing food preparation even two or three person helping out is fine here. Your cooking area is here if you think that there is not enough food preparation space there is another sort of like a island kind of style of a food preparation here as well. Secondly, I do like that we have a dedicated dining area that can put up to about six to even eight seater right in front of your study area. Because this is a two plus study, you have a nuke here for you to really focus in to do work at home if you're an entrepreneur or work from home, which is getting more and more prevalent for a lot of company in here. For this layout, we have a dumbbell layout concept where you have one bedroom and one bathroom over here, not ensuite, but on the master bedroom side, we have the ensuite bathroom. From coming in over on this front, we can see that all the interesting feature here is that this master bedroom actually extends out all the way to the balcony area. So if you, let's say I were to do some sort of interior design on this space, I probably will put in a blind here to separate these two spaces. If I want to, of course, I can roll out the blind and actually this, like the developer has done, is my dedicated workout area while enjoying the view in my morning routine working out.
country square feet three bedroom premium but again this entire stack has already been sold out there's one single stack here facing the MBS view of course there comes time for resale or something jump out you can of course contact us as well but it's okay we still go in take a look because most of the room sizes are similar here the other three bedroom here at Kenny Hill Pierce so come along with us this is a private lift unit we have a four year area a good size dining area what I do like is that number one I do like this kind of a semi open concept kind of kitchen we have food preparation on the left and right side of us and of course we have a huge opening here for all you stir frying deep frying fumes to head out alternatively coming back into the space in here I do like that it have quite a good width of living area here and walking towards the balcony space is that it extends all the way to the kitchen area and this is a kind of flexible kind of table if you do not like it or do not need it anymore you can actually keep it but if you want to chill out at your balcony space and do some work while enjoying the view you can actually put it out as well so this is the second unique selling point here at this three bedroom premium unit and the last one here of course at Kenny Hill Pierce is all about the view walking towards the master bedroom space area we have sort of like a dual exposure floor to ceiling window here on uh, one side you are able to look out into the Singapore River and the other side you're gonna look out for the Marina Bay Sands view meaning that once you wake up the left and right is view all around you premium 1755 square feet here at Canning Hill Pierce because of very popular nature of Canning Hill Pierce and it's being sold I think even on the first week it's down on the 77% now it's close to about 85-90% is sold here already this currently out of the 4 bedroom premium only left with one unit so if you are keen on this unit this particular unit do give us a call quickly to avoid disappointment also at that time of recording just one alright so coming in here we have a private lift coming into the foyer area I think we just briefly touch on the three most interesting point here at the four bedroom premium at Canning Hill Pierce at least the show flat unit here you can see that we have a wide living area which I always do like with Kermit the landscape layout design of the living area it extends out into the balcony space what you are looking at outside of the balcony space and the actual unit here at Canning Hill Pierce is the view that is of the MBS if you are of course high enough here coming back into the unit here because we have dry kitchen wet kitchen on this side I also do like that tuck neatly on this corner we got a very good size formal dining area you can put out an eight seater i think big round table for the family or even a 10 seater is no problem as well turning behind you we have a guest room that is separated from the other three bedrooms that is in the unit itself so this serves as a great kind of guest room if let's say you have guests coming in here parents your parents-in-law you want them to have their own space alternatively this can be used as a sort of like a work area that is separate out if let's say you are doing a lot of work from home Home or if you are an entrepreneur working from home by yourself to avoid all the distraction. Coming back over on this side, I think one of the main crown jewel of this four bedroom premium is that of the master bedroom space. You come in here, first thing you'll see is the view is awesome. We have a dual exposure of the floor to ceiling window here. This side, of course, like I mentioned at the balcony view, you look out at the MBS view, the Marina Bay Sands view, and here you look out to the Singapore River view. And one last thing, the ensuite bathroom in here actually do carry and still uh, rarity here in Singapore still have that bathtub and shower combination in here so if let's say you do enjoy showering in the bathtub to soak out all the stress 
or you just you know want to have the kids to play in the water or you have animal pets that you want to bathe them in the bathtub i think this four bedroom premium is something that you can look forward to or any other four bedroom unit here in canning hill pierce of course the room sizes will be a little bit different but sort of similar here so give us a call to avoid really disappointment because again at the time of filming this is the only one left and we're going to show you the rest of the home tour of this four bedroom show unit here at Canning Hill Pierce. episode featuring Kenny Q Pierce. So if you are keen, go over to our website homequarters.com.sg for more real estate content and editorial on. Show us some love on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook at homequarters.sg. My name is Casey from Homequarters and remember, call Homequarters and start packing. Which is um, being uh, <laughs> service residence that is managed uh, with Escort Somerset. Have smart community um, kind of a... Uh, uh, what I...